Well, hello there. Today I have something a little different for you. We're going to be doing the video on how to make a dome port. This is a DIY video. We're going to do a detailed build on this dome port. I figured I'd take you behind the scenes. Some of you may be interested, some of you may not be. Just hang on, I'll have some more lure making videos before too long. So I've got this acrylic dome that I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it so you can follow along. Five and a half inches across. Got this piece of quarter inch acrylic. This is just scrap that I had laying around. What I'm gonna do is make a underwater bubble basically for my camera. So the camera will sit back in the back. This will give me a water line. Uh, when I have this underwater, I can have it sticking partially out of the water and partially in the water. So you can see what I'm doing fishing and what my bait is doing or what my fish is doing. And we're gonna attach it to my DJI action camera. But I've got a small rig mount on it and that's how we're going to attach it. The other piece you'll need is this UV protector. Just a simple UV protector that fits something like the small rig. This one just screws on, so that's how mine will attach. So what we're gonna do for first is take the <laughs> acrylic dome that I have and just trace it out onto our piece of a quarter inch flat acrylic. And you can use something else that needs to be waterproof. We'll need to cut that out. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna try to figure out the center point on this. I've got a two inch hole saw. I'm gonna use that to cut the hole for this. Put everything set up. I've actually moved this down so I'm a little closer to the acrylic. We're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Definitely wear safety glasses. I'm gonna use my disc sander and round this over a little better. Definitely a much smoother edge. All right, we're gonna find the center of this disc. And that's the center. Now we gotta drill this out. I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole first. And note to self, don't push so hard because you will crack it. Luckily it didn't crack all the way through. Battery did. Like I said, I'm not pushing hard. Got it. Another thing we're gonna do before we put everything together is I'm gonna scuff this up and then I've got to paint it black. One thing you're gonna have happen is the light's gonna come in the dome and it's gonna reflect off the glossy piece in the back and then you're gonna have nasty reflections all through there. That we don't want. I'm gonna paint this a matte black and I'm hoping it'll stick pretty good if I scuff it up. So I've painted it with a matte black crayon fusion paint. I've uh, marked out where the holes are on my dome and I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out. So I have this UV filter and it's got a fingerprint on it, great. And it just kind of slightly fits in there. But this screws onto my small rig. I'll probably epoxy it in and then I'll probably put some silicone around the inside. I'll put the dome over and silicone a seal around here first before I put the dome in. Then I'll put the dome in and tighten the bolts around the edge. And since these are so big, I'll chop off the excess. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and painted this the matte black. There's a lens cover here and I literally just epoxied it in and I got epoxy everywhere. If you have to clean it up, isopropyl rubbing alcohol will work. Now I'm gonna go through and put a bead of silicone around the inside here uh, as close as I can to the edge so that I can make sure water doesn't get in there. This is just your all-purpose silicone. And now I'm just gonna go through and smooth that out. Now we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna clean off that lens once it's dry and then we're going to silicone this edge and put the dome on. But we're gonna clean the dome on stuff really well too. 
But once I get the dome on, I won't be able to get to the inside, so unless I take it apart and re-silicone it. So now what we're going to do is uh, silicone the base here so I have a nice seal. I'm just going to put a small bead across this thing. Try not to touch that glass. That should be enough. We don't want globs of it. Okay, now here's the hard part. Got to make sure we have holes lined up. Right, you can see the air kind of moving out around the edge. It means we're getting a good seal. See, that'll work. We'll give it a try out as soon as it dries. So I've been out trying the new lens. The lens itself works good, but I have a issue with the camera, which I thought I was gonna have, but I wanted to double check before I actually did anything about it. And one thing I need to do is seal around this lens cover here. So what was happening is I was getting a bad reflection in the middle of my water shot and I was kind of expecting it like I said because I figured water would be able to get around the lens here and it did so my solution to that is to waterproof this housing area but that means I need to somehow waterproof this ring right here and these screw holes the other thing I may need to do is put some like Teflon tape on it when I screw this on and that should keep all the water out now I could do this with silicone if I had some plumbers buddy I would probably actually use that because it it doesn't harden basically. Silicone's pretty easy to clean off of slick surfaces, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So if I ever wanted to take it out and replace the lens, I could do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put silicone around the edge and then I'll place it on here. And then I'm gonna put some silicone in the screw holes and then put the screws in. If I get some on the lens, I can just let it harden and then I can scrape it off, but I prefer not to do that. I definitely don't wanna get any silicone in there. <laughs> So we're going to place this on. It's got a dot where it has to slide into something. Alright, we got some coming up there. I do not have any around there, so just to make sure. Actually, I want to double check some real quick. As long as we're not in the, the vent. I'm going to go ahead and put some right around here. I'm going to have to clean the lens anyway, so. I definitely don't want to get silicone on the screws, so just make them hard to work with. If I can put it on first. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the surplus off around the edges here. We'll let that dry. Got a big deep hole over here. Hopefully we'll find something. One thing I'll have to fix. <laughs> oh man. Too much excitement.
Weather's starting to change. Oh, cool. 